You are likely leaving people behind and not getting their input. If you do this, you'll go alone. And if you go alone, you won't accomplish your goals. Why only get minimal participation when we can get above 80 or 90%? Do you have an effort or efforts that you want to implement in your team or in your organization? Do you want it to stick? Do you want total participation? If you do, then you have to get buy-in. The quote I want you to remember is that if people don't weigh in, they will not buy in. I, I know how you feel. You have all these great ideas and you know what you want, right? It's so hard, but now that you're the leader, you don't get credit anymore. Now it's about others and their hard work. So how do you get people to weigh in? Well, there are a couple of ways. Number one, encourage ideas at other levels of the organization. Number two, challenge groups or teams to solve problems on their own. Number three, if you do originate the idea, then make sure you review it with your entire team and have them weigh in and buy in before you roll it out. And number four, you can just simply ask people how they feel about it and get their opinions whenever possible. And you know, really, it may be easier to understand how to not do it than actually how to do it. So here we go. Don't come up with all the solutions yourself. Force programs and processes on people without their input. Do lower level work and overstep people in their roles. Or think that you're the only one that can solve the problem. If you have to, if you're the leader, open the meeting, state the problem, tape your your mouth shut and point with hand gestures when people are on the right track but don't speak that's what i have to do because i love the sound of my own voice the bottom line is you can't go anywhere alone without your team and be successful are you ready to go as a team together and with full buy-in if so practice tomorrow with one of these behaviors comment below on what you will do tomorrow to lead the team together instead of lording over them